Hi. In this tutorial I want to extend the multiplication of powers rule. We're going to look at expressions like this where you've got say something to a power inside a bracket and it's raised to another power. So in this example I've got 2 to the power 4 all squared. And So what would this mean? Okay. This is short for 2 to the power 4, which we know is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And because this is squared, we need to multiply this again by 2 to the power 4. In other words, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 to the power 4 all squared is short for this. And because we've now got 2 repeatedly multiplied by itself, a total of 8 times over, then I can write this as simply 2 to the power 8. What happens if we had an algebraic example? Suppose we had x squared, for instance, and this was all cubed. What would this be short for? We've got x squared, which we know is x multiplied by itself, okay, and then we cube this result. So we've got x times x multiplied by another x times x and then multiplied by another x times x. x squared and it's cubed once, twice, three times over. And If you look closely at this you'll see that I've repeated the multiplication of x by itself six times over. So that is short for x to the power 6. So what this seems to suggest is a basic rule that when we have anything then, let's say x to the power m, all raised to the power n, that all we need to do is simply multiply these two numbers together. Like in this example, two threes were the 6. Or in this example, four twos were the eight. So x to the power m all raised to the power n will be x to the power m times n or mn for short. So what you need to do is to learn this result and be able to use it. Let's try just a few more examples. This, these examples I'm going to do now mix numbers with letters. So for instance, suppose we had say 3a to the power 5 all squared. You might know the result without having to write it out in full and I would encourage that but for this example I'm just going to write down what this is. 3a to the power 5 all squared is going to be 3a to the power 5 multiplied by another 3a to the power 5. And so what's this going to be? Well, we've got 3 that is repeated. It's squared. Okay, and I could have got that from here. 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. And then we have a to the power 5, which is squared. Okay, it's repeated. So that's a to the power 10. 9a to the power 10. Now I'd like to try another example and in this next example we're going to have more than one letter in it. Let's suppose we have 2a cubed b squared and this is all cubed. So what have we got? Well we've got 2 repeatedly multiplied by itself three times over. 2 cubed in other words. I'll just write 2 cubed here. We've got a cubed, which is cubed again. So that's a cubed times a cubed times a cubed. That's going to be a to the power 9. Just simply multiply those two powers there together. And then we've got b squared, which is cubed. b squared times b squared times b squared. In other words, b to the power 6. I need to finish this off because 2 cubed is going to be 8. So that's going to be 8, a to the power 9, b to the power 6. 
Okay, so hopefully you've been able to see how I've applied this rule. Now what I've got here is just a quick set of examples for you to try. So you might like to pause the video and try these. I'll just read them out to you. This is x cubed all to the power of 4. And number 2 is 4x cubed all squared. And in number 3 we've got x squared y cubed all to the power of 5. And in this example we've got 4x to the power of 5 y cubed all cubed. OK, so just pause the video and I'll run through these in a minute so you can check them. OK then, let's just run through the answers to this. So x cubed to the power of 4, nice easy one to start. Basic rule here, just following this. x cubed to the power of 4 then, just multiply the 3 and 4 together and you've got x to the power of 12. With number 2, you've got 4 to the power of 2. 4 squared in other words, which is 16. And then you've got x cubed all squared, so that's going to be x to the power 6. In number 3, we've got x squared all to the power 5, so that's going to be x to the power 10. 2 5s to the 10. And then y cubed to the power 5, so it becomes y to the power 15 by doing 3 5s, which are 15. And in the last example, number 4, we have 4 cubed. 4 cubed is going to be 4 times 4 times 4. 4 4s are 16. 16 4 is 64. And then we have x to the power 5 all cubed. So that's going to be x to the power 15. And then y cubed all cubed. That will be y to the power 9. OK, so I'd like to think that you were able to do those. And if so, well done. And that brings us now to the end of this tutorial.